Welcome to Trade Pro. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you only trade inside bars with trend direction in mind? Well, I wondered the same thing. So had this trading strategy script created to trade only inside bars with the trend direction in mind. Now this trading strategy script along with all of the other trade pro trading strategy scripts are available on my Patreon page. Link is in the description down below and it does cost money so bear that in mind. But I will go over what the exact strategy that's being used here is. So if you don't want to spend any money you can still learn about the strategy and it will be okay. Now let's take a look at kind of what the strategy is and talk about what is an inside bar first of all then we'll kind of get into all the different details of the trading strategy script um, so you can see what it kind of entails but let's get into things starting out with what is an inside bar so an inside bar is a two candlestick pattern where you can have both a bullish inside bar or a bearish inside bar so let's take a look at an example of a bullish inside bar right here so first we have this red candle right here then we have our green bullish inside bar what makes it an inside bar well what happens is price neither makes a new high compared to the last candle or a new low so essentially it consolidates within the range of the previous candle before it you can see a bearish inside bar candle right here where we have a bearish red candle and it neither makes a new high compared to the candle before it or a new low compared to this candle before it. So it's a very simple candlestick pattern where essentially what's happening is price is consolidating sideways. The price is neither making a new high or making a new low. So it's called an inside bar. And often how you can use an inside bar is as a kind of consolidation pattern if you have an uptrend and you see a bullish inside bar you could take a look at that and say okay price is consolidating sideways in an uptrend maybe I want to get in for a continuation move of this uptrend and opposite of that if you have a bearish inside bar and a downtrend you could potentially look at that as a sideways consolidation within a downtrend so maybe you expect a continuation move of that current downtrend so that's covering what an actual inside bar is now let's talk about the strategy and common strategies that are used with inside bars then we can go over all the different settings and customizable parts to this trading strategy script now there's a couple different ways that you can trade inside bars but the default settings of this trading strategy script have it so that if price crosses under the 50 period exponential moving average indicating a downtrend it will be looking for a bearish inside bar to then place a sell stop underneath that bar so if price then trades below that bearish inside bar that will be triggering in that short position and stop loss will be placed accordingly based on how you set the ATR based stop loss or by a variety of other methods that we will go over within the settings of the trading script stop loss and take profit are completely customizable but just with default settings it's using a 1 to 1.5 risk to reward ratio so you can see this bearish inside bar is put in after price crosses below the 50 period EMA and then price trades below that bar entering into the position on this next green candle stop loss is placed take profit target is placed and this is the very standard strategy and the most common strategy that is used with inside bars but there is another way to do it that this trading strategy script has optional and let's cover that one so if I go into the settings of the trading strategy script, I can change the way the entry is done. So right now it's set to the stop entry. So it will be placing the stop entry at the bottom low of the wick or the high of the wick if it's in an uptrend. But we can change it to a market order as well. And you'll see this entry is going to change a little bit. We'll just give it a sec to kind of update. And we'll see the entry will now be right when that inside bar closes. So we can see it's now at the entry price of that inside bar that we saw underneath the 50 period EMA. Um, so either you can have an instantaneous entry um, as soon as an inside bar closes, or you can have a con confirmation entry when only the low or high of that inside bar is taken out, will it enter into the position. 
So that covers the two most basic strategies using inside bars with trend direction in mind. Now let's talk about all the different customizable parts to this trading strategy script by going into the settings here and getting through each thing one by one. A lot of these things are on the other strategy scripts, so I will kind of breeze through a lot of them, but just the specific new things for this script, I will cover more in detail. Now, mind you, this does have explanations for each one of the different parts. So, you know, you can read these if you do get access to it and uh, help you with understanding each part of it. All right, starting up top, we have the ability to decide on the inside bar direction mapping. So what that means is you can either choose to have it only enter on longs with bullish inside bars and only enter shorts on bearish inside bars, or you can do the opposite where it enters shorts on bullish inside bars and enters longs on bearish inside bars. You can also have it just enter on any type of inside bar, just depending on the trend direction as determined by the exponential moving average of your choice. Next section is that exponential exponential moving average for the trend direction filter. You can either turn it off all the way, or you can decide on which specific exponential moving average you would like to use for the trend direction filter. The default is set to 50. Then there is the ability to only allow a single entry per EMA cross, um, or just get rid of that and it will enter into many different positions as long as the price is trading below um, or above the EMA, just depending on the trend direction. Otherwise, if it, you're only allowing a single entry per EMA cross, um, price does need to cross over the EMA. So let's say price crosses under the EMA, there's an bearish inside bar and it enters a short position, it's not going to enter another short position until price comes over the EMA again, then back under the EMA. So hopefully that makes sense. And we can kind of read about that here. If enabled for a position to be opened, the price will have to cross above or below the EMA following a position exit. In other words, after opening a long position, the price will have to cross under the EMA and cross back up before a new long position is entered. The same applies to short entries. After opening a short position, the price will have to cross above the EMA and cross back under before a new start position or short position is entered okay so next section ability to enable just long entries just short entries or both and then we have the entry type so we kind of went over this one already um, the ability to do a stop entry market entry um, and so I don't need to cover this too much in depth but you, there's also the ability to do a limit order entry as well and with the stop entry you can do a wick based entry so placing the order at the low or high of the wick depending on trend direction or you can have it do it based on ATR percent tick based or pivot based and then you can select the specifics down here depending on which one of these you choose now coming down a bit more some things that are common on all the other strategy scripts we'll kind of breeze through these you can restrict entries to a certain date range restrict entries to days and time range um, skip entry if the estimated commission is greater than the estimated profit you can enable an rsi filter skip the entry if previous trades unrealized profit reaches a certain percentage and you can take reverse entries so this one's kind of interesting um, if enabled the strategy will open a long position when a short entry is signaled and open a short position when the long entry is signaled so that is kind of new and added to some of the other scripts as well. Now getting down to a very important section here, the stop loss strategy. So how it's gonna place the stop loss based on a variety of factors. Also down here, we have the ability to have a dynamic stop loss, whether it be a trailing stop loss, moving the stop loss to break even at a certain point, moving the stop into pro profit at a certain point. And of course the take profit strategy as well, whether it be risk multiplier, ATR based um, and other things. So these are um, available on the other scripts as well. I've covered that um, quite a few times, but um, I'll kind of get through these. Um, um, quickly you can choose from a variety of different ways to enter the stop loss and place the take profit target as well um, right now just the default sets it with an atr multiple so three times the atr is the standard to set the stop loss and then it's using a 1 to 1.5 risk to reward ratio so you can see here it's a risk multiplier and it's set to a 1.5 times risk profit target um, and there are a bunch of different things you can do here you can have it trailed 
the stop loss. If you want to enable the dynamic stop loss, you can have it move the stop loss to break even at a certain point or move and trail the stop loss um, as well. So a bunch of different options here that you can choose from for take profit targets and stop loss placement. And that will be a huge factor in changing the results of this trading strategy script when kind of trying to customize and find the best settings because the defaults are not meant to be the best. It's just a standard set of settings that um, are meant to be uh, played around with and you know try different things. So uh, let's get through to the next section here. So ability to close the position early if the opposite direction entry criteria is met. So let's say it has a short position entered, but then there's a signal for a long entry. It will close that short position um, if that does happen. Now close the position early if a price crosses a moving average of your choice. Close the position after a certain number of minutes. Close position on reaching the end of the trading session. Um, you can enable a dollar cost averaging type of entry. So instead of just entering at one price, you could have it enter in stages. Um, if price keeps going against you, you could have it enter a third of the position down here, a third here, a third here. Um, if price goes against you from the initial entry. And then we have the ability to activate custom order size settings. So um, if you want to see what kind of net profit you would get if you risked 1% of your account equity, equity per trade, um, along with these other types of um, risk settings. So um, there's that as well. So and then down here, we have some stuff for the alerts and stuff that you would find on the other trading strategy scripts, which I have covered in other videos um, already. So I don't want to drag it on too long with all this. So that will wrap things up for this video. If you're interested in getting access to the trading script, all the other trading scripts, and also my personal trading strategy, weekly market report update videos on my Patreon, check it out in the link down in the description. And if not, that's fine as well. Now you know the inside bar strategy. Be sure to like the video, comment down below for the YouTube algorithm them and thank you for watching have a great day